Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to identify files in Windows. Um, so if you have a file, for example, with no extension, and you still want to know what type of file it is, um, in, in, well, I can say in Linux and in Unix, um, there's a usually built-in command called file, and you can basically say file and then give it the actual uh, file that you want it to analyze, and it will use um, basically the file signature to identify what type of file it is. In Windows, there's nothing like that built in. Um, so for example, if I say, uh, let's say I have this uh, photorec.ses uh, file, which is a session file. So if I type something like file, uh, photorec, uh, I'll give it the configuration file. Um, file is not a recognized internal external command, okay? so. Um, basically, the only way that I can identify this file is maybe use a hex editor um, or you know some other way to actually see the uh, file signature of this command. But um, imagine that you have an extremely large file, um, loading an extremely large file into a, um, a, a hex editor could be a problem depending on your system. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to get out of command line. And uh, we're going to download the uh, GNU Win32 version of uh, file, and this is basically GNU tools um, for uh, Windows. So if you go to this link, and I'll put the link on uh, below the video. Um, if you go to the, if you download the setup program, so get the setup program from uh, from this location, from this link. And then uh, whenever you download that, you will get this uh, file. Uh, the current version is 5.03 setup. So then whenever we run this file setup, just like a normal a normal program, um, we want to run the setup because that will install the uh, uh, DLLs and everything. I don't necessarily want the developer files, though. So just the binaries, definitely the binaries and the documentation if you want it. Okay, I'm going to uh, load it into Win32 file. Click next, uh, create documents in the start folder. Okay, that's okay. And then install. Okay, now, uh, as soon as I click finish, should close. <laughs> as soon as I click finish, then I can go to CMD. And if I run the command again right now, if I just run file, the file is still not recognized. Okay, so one thing that I need to do first is, um, I don't know why that's not going down. One thing that I need to do is um, figure out where I installed the program. So I installed it in C drive, program files x86 and GNU win 32. And then the file program is actually in the bin folder. So this is the location, the full location of where I need to um, uh, copy. So find, click on the, uh, 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 So click on the location bar, right click, click copy. Okay, so now we've copied that. Right click on the um, uh, start menu, go to system, click on advanced system settings and environment variables, and then path, edit, and then new and paste, right click and paste. And then that will basically put this uh, location in our path. Then we click OK, 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 close that. Then close any command lines that you had open. Go to CMD and type file. And we should see some usage information. So basically, we've, we've added file to our, our Windows path. That way, we can just type file, and Windows will know where to look for uh, this program. Okay, so now um, if I type dir, I can look back at this photorec.cfg file, which is just a text file, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. So if I just type file photorec.cfg, then okay, yeah, so it, it shows up as an ASCII text file, which that's kind of what I expected. I can also run file uh, dash i dash i photorec cfg to see a little bit more information sometimes. So photorec cfg text plain, it's a plain text file. Charset us ascii, okay? Um, so let's go into, just to give another example, I'm not sure if I have any images on this computer, but we can try. Um, let's go into 
my documents. And there's nothing in there. Okay. Okay, so I have this uh, test PDF on my desktop, so I'm going to run file, um, test PDF, and I should obviously see, um, I should see uh, information about PDF, basically. Yeah, so PDF document and the version of the PDF. If I run file dash I, test PDF, uh, application PDF, char set binary. So this is a quick way to, tell some information about um, uh, a file that you're looking at without having to know um, the extension. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. That's how to install a very useful program into Windows to quickly find information, very basic information about um, files on your system. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.